Well, we're in a series about Paul, and I love learning about leadership. I love reading about leaders, and today we're going to talk about some leadership lessons from Paul, who is an incredible, incredible leader. Um, and there are two main lessons in one verse. Let's see if you can catch them. Here's the verse. 1 Timothy 1.15. Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. As I read that, there's two things that jump out to me about Paul's leadership. Here's the first, that he is incredibly humble. You think of strong leaders, you don't necessarily think of them saying things like, of whom I am the worst. But in reality, think about the people who you want to follow, the people you have great respect for. Here's what I believe is true, that those people are real, that those people are willing to say, I don't know. Those people are willing to say, and I am, I'm messed up. I me I've messed up. I'm currently messing up. I don't have it all together. Paul models that for us throughout scripture. Even in uh, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verse 9, he says, For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle, apostle because I persecuted the church of God. Paul does this throughout his writings. He humbles himself, and yet he has incredible influence. So think about that. We think leaders need to be strong and confident and always have the answers, and if they don't have the answers, to pretend like they do. But in actuality, we love following people who are just as broken as us and are willing to admit it. They know that they don't have it all together. Paul models that so, so well. Here's the other thing, the other leadership lesson from 1 Timothy, and I'll read 1 Timothy 1.15 again. Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the worst. Here's another reason I love reading Paul, is that he goes back to the most important things all the time. Paul makes the most important things the most important things. I love leaders who it is super clear that these two, three things are what matter most. And the opposite of that is a leader who has something new and different every time you speak to them. And what that does is it just creates confusion. You want to create clarity for the people that you lead, whether that's at work or at home. Say the same things again and again and again. And Paul does that so well throughout scripture. Here's, I mean, here's a summary of what he says a million times is that Christ came, he died for sinners, and that his grace is good enough for all of us. What great news that is. So thank you, Jesus, for sending us Paul. What an incredible uh, strategy that was to send somebody who was so broken and such a, uh, an outward sinner to teach us how to, how to live. Let's pray. God, thank you for Paul. Thank you for sending him. Thank you for that strategy to send him of all the people. And thank you that he taught us so well humility and to keep the most important things, the most important things. God, help us in our day to schedule the most important things, which are God and people. And help us to just say when we don't have it all together to be humble. God, we love you. It's in your name we pray. Amen.